All right, what's up, everybody? We're back in here with another video. I've been enjoying these powerful videos from my brother at the Ministry of the Word. Uh, I give credit to his channel, so go over there and show some support. And this next one is about, the title is Power, Powerful Discussion About Gender Identity. All right, let's dive in and see what we can see. Absolutely. If God, yeah, that's true. If God needs help. God doesn't need anything. Uh, can I first ask you a question, Ben? So the word needs condones that he couldn't have picked a different way. This is the way that God chose. He doesn't. He doesn't it's God's plan, but He doesn't need us. Need, meaning, oh, meaning if if every if every evangelist stop preaching, the Bible says the rocks he'll he'll raise up rocks. That's what God says. God says if no one if no one serves God, God said He can raise up rocks. So He doesn't need us. He, he's just He's just doing it because He loves us. So let, let, no, no, no. Let's say in a hypothetical situation, right? God loses all His power. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Would you stop where Because he wouldn't be God. Wow, that's wild. So, so one of the attributes of God is all powerful. So that's it. One of the 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 So I've answered your question, so I don't I don't know why you're not accepting my answer. I said I love God. I love him. I love him more than my daughter. I love him more than anybody. I love him more than my mom, more than my dad. Yeah, I love God because God, God gave me my child. Without a child, I, God gave me. Matter of fact, everything, the Bible says all good and perfect gifts goes from God. So every time you're happy, that's God showing you mercy and giving you something. He says he calls it the rain on the just. Every good and perfect gift come down from the Father of lights in whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Adjust. So God loves you too. The Bible says, while we were sinners, God died for us. The Bible says God loves everyone. And Jesus loves us so much that he, he went to the cross for us. And that's why I love him. If you, if, you understood, if you really believed in hell and you understood what Jesus did for you, you would love him too, like I love him. Okay, question one. Say, question one. Say, all my life I've been doing what God wants. I've been doing terrible things. I've been a good person. But I don't follow Christ. Am I going to hell for that? So you're not a good person. Be, 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 because there, uh, let me ask you a question. I know you're next. I hear you. Um, have you ever lied? Yeah, I'm sure we all lied. Do good people lie? Yes. <laughs> no. no. So so good is the absence of bad. If you look up the word good in the dictionary, you can't have anything bad. Good almost means perfect. That's why that's why when they ask Jesus, um, um, why do you call me good teacher? Only God is good. So the mo the moment you do something that's not good, you're no longer good because now I can say, hey, you're a liar. Have you ever have you ever had sex outside of marriage? That that that's that's a terrible thing too because you're, you're well, first of all because you're you're using another woman for her body. If you're not going to settle down with that woman, if you're not going to support that woman, if you're not going to take that woman, marry her, and show her how show her uh, how special and she is to you. But if you're just going to use it for her 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 nay -nay, and they go on to the next nay -nay, and then they go on to the next nay -nay, God God decides that. So why so say so God says that's wrong. But why is God, God, God says that's wrong, yes. So why is the God real? Why is God real? Because you're here. The, the proof of existence is, uh, is the proof of God. It's nature itself. How did you get here? Through my mother. So that's, that's, a, that's a childish answer. You understand what I mean? How did mankind get here? How did human beings get here? Uh, my mother had did it with my dad, and that's why I'm here. Okay, how did human beings get here? How did the first human being get here? How did the first human come here? Through years of, millions of years of evolution. Yeah, so evolution is a lie. Um, it, we, it's never been observed. You can't test it. Um, and so nothing in the, in the history of life, nothing can't create something. So you're saying nothing created the stars, nothing created the moon, nothing created the eyes, nothing created love. It, uh, there's so much order to the world. Just, just, just your heart pumping. Your heart doesn't pump. You don't, you don't say pump heart, pump heart. It does it on its own. There's so many things that, that, that in, in creation that have so much order to them. They, 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 the Bible calls you a fool if you uh, reject that there's the fact Actually, that there's a God. Let me rephrase it. So why is your Bible real? So why why is the Bible the source of all truth? Okay, the, the Bible is the is the only book that that said two thousand years ago, four or five thousand years ago, things are going to happen, and they're happening now. So, right. Okay. But you're saying, but okay, so like one says, Bible is the word of God. Yeah? So why is, so why does it, is God real? Then? What do you mean? I just explained why God is real. 
<laughs> every time you look at the every time you look at the moon, every time you look at the stars, the Bible says that the yeah, absolutely. That's that's what God says. God says that um, the attributes of God are written in creation, so you're without excuse. So so how did the sun get there? Ask yourself that. That's what you have to ask. How did the sun get there? Why do we love people? Why do we have emotions? Why are we different from animals? No, no. What I'm trying to say is, the Bible says is the Bible. I'm gonna pause real quick and read uh, uh, Romans chapter one verse seventeen says this: For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Verse eighteen says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. <clears throat> For God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him whom from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even this his eternal power, Godhead, and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because that when they knew God, they glorify, glorify him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was dark, and professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And changing the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man, and to birds, and to four-footed beasts, and to creeping things, wherefore God gave them up to uncleanness, to the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, <clears throat> and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. A man. Listen to this right here. For even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them to a reprobate mind. Listen to what he says in verse 29. It says, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, malice, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, the day which commits such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that does them. That's Romans 1. Uh, that particular scripture right there breaks it all down. All what he is doing is trying to prevent people by preaching the gospel from receiving the wrath of God from number one, returning, uh, repenting of their evil ways and their evil deeds and returning to God and saving them from eternity of wrath. Because God essentially will judge sin on a final day. And the preaching of the gospel is giving a person an opportunity to hear what God has done through his son, Jesus Christ, and to accept the fact, the truth, to accept the truth that they can be saved from God's eternal wrath, from God's judgment. That is what this is all about. Word of God. But God, but God is why the Bible is here. So don't you see that that's a little bit of circular reasoning? What's wrong with circular reason? We, we circle the reason in every, in every aspect of life. Okay, let me give you an example. Say one day I came home and my mom tells me, go do my homework and then clean my room and then go run some errands. Five minutes later, she finds me on a couch reading comic books. So she asked me, didn't I ask you to do the homework and run some errands? So she told, asked me, so why didn't I do my homework? So I tell her, I'm gonna, after I clean my room. So when are you cleaning your room? After running some errands. So when are you running some errands? After I do my homework. So, so, so what you're doing is, is being disrespectful to your mom. Because she told you to do something, you didn't do it, and now you're you're using circular reason to no, to get out not, to get out of something she told you to do. Let me ask you a question: uh, why, no, why, not, why is it wrong? To, why is it wrong not to listen? Or why, is it right or wrong to listen to your mom? This is nothing. Not being disrespectful. This is this is just. If your mom tells you to do something, you don't do it, and you start making excuses, that's disrespectful. Let me ask you a question: I, Is that wrong? But you're shifting. Yeah, but you're shifting. No, I've told you, circular, I've said there's nothing wrong with circular argumentation. There's nothing uh, yeah, wrong with that. Because it's not going anywhere. Says who? Says Marjorie. Okay, what do you mean? Okay, 
Do, do, do science, does, is science, is science circular reason? No, I'm not reason. So, does science use circular reason? No. It doesn't? So what, what created the Big Bang? That's not relevant right now. Yes, it is, because no, it's, it, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go in a circle, and, what, and what's it going to go to is like, we don't know what created the Big Bang. Let me ask you a question. Is, 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 it wrong? is it wrong to not listen to your mom? You are shifting from the question. That's not what I'm asking. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're, I don't. Th I don't think you're. I don't think you're grasping what I'm saying. Are you? Are you? Is it wrong not to listen to your mom? That's my question. That's not the question I'm asking. Okay, I've I've answered your question, bro. Uh, so okay, I disagree. Uh, what's your opinion on pronouns? What pronouns? Any and all pronouns. What do you mean? Pronouns are a lot of things. Like Christian is a pronoun. I like I, I like I like being a Christian. Man is a pronoun. Human is a pronoun. What do you mean? What do you think my pronouns are? What do I think your pronouns are? So in, in what um in what context? Who cares? Okay, so in, in what context? I'm asking you a question. In what context? Put it in context. By what do you mean by pronoun? Your preferred pronoun. My preferred pronoun. What do you mean? What does that even mean? Use your brain. You're a woman. In Korean, you're a woman. Correct. What do you mean? What does that even mean? Use your brain. You're a woman. Incorrect. Okay, you, if you were, I'm gonna, I'm gonna educate you. If you were biologically born with women parts, you're a woman. I'm, I'm being educated. About gender identity. You don't, you don't. Um, so gender identity is a, is a lie. It's fake. Um, there's only two genders: a man and a woman. And you, you know, let me ask you a question. How, how, how many gender identities are there in nature? How, how many, how many genders are in a lie? Goodness. No, because look, if it's natural, it should be in nature. So let me ask That's you a good. question. How many genders good, do a lion have? Pop, pop, pop. One sec. One How many genders do a monkey have? How many genders do a zebra have? How come human beings, if this was true and it's natural, how come human beings are the only one with gender fluidity? Amen. Because it's not true. Right. Do horses have multiple she genders? Said, shut up. No. Let me tell you. Person, let me tell you. Have... It, every time you crush their, their logic, they want you to shut up because did you just hear just say shut up? The, the the only species that has like he just mentioned that has gender fluidity are humans. It's because we make it up. The the lion the, the animal kingdom then is is two genders male female, two genders in, the, in in the animal kingdom. The only species that on the face of the earth because of our skewed logic is uh, uh, that 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 has gender fluidity. Is human beings because we want to be what we want to be, how we want to be it, and when we want to be it. People say they have multiple genders because they have reasoned themselves to align. If you can show me any animal that has multiple gen genders, and this is true, but if you can't see it in nature, it's untrue. Just like there's a man and a woman in animal nature, we are the exact same thing. A, a gen uh, well, at least, uh, lions, at least this tigers and at least this crowd is is um is pretty tolerable. At least they are. I mean, even, even though they're hostile toward him in their uh, their logic, it, at least they're, they're not attacking him. They're not doing a, a whole. And I, I've seen some of his videos where people are up in his face. They're trying to steal his microphone. They they literally um, get out in front of him and parade around, twerking, women kissing women, men kissing men, all that in front of him while he's trying to preach the gospel. This is the world that we live in nowadays. They do not um, wrestle with their gender because they don't have uh, gender dysphoria. It's actual mental illness called gender dysphoria. It's actually documented in uh, the DSM. medical journals. Yep, DSM-5. So, question. Um, you said show something as multiple genders in nature, correct? Yeah. So, funguses, they actually have a very uh, wide variety of genders. And a lot of people actually would compare to fungus. fungus because... So, show me a non-binary fungus. Literally, show me a two spirit fungus. I can't show you. Show me a fungus that wants to be to call him they and we. You're, 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 a you're, fungus. You're not, you're not making sense, bro. You're not making sense. Yeah. I was going to tell him that too. It's not a mammal. We're mammals. Um, you know that there, there's dolphins. Dolphins only have two genders. Whales only have two genders. But the thing is, is if it was natural, we, we, we'd see it in nature. we see it in nature. Pardon me? Kind of like a they switch sex from what to what, man to female, yes. or man to non-binary? Wow. Female, but you're also trying. You're also trying to discredit just trans people as a whole. That's a dude. Um, I'm just saying you're wrong, and you know you're wrong. Amen. Well, no, yeah. there's Amen. clownfish, there's Amen. snails, which are hermaphrodites. Frogs. Humans have intersectionality. They What's are a hermaphrodite? 
something that's male and female. Okay, so that's two. You make you're further making my point. Right, but show me something with three or four or five genders. Amen. Hermaphrodite Amen. is a type of sex where you have combined chromosomes of male and female. Of what? Male and female. That's two. Combined. <laughs> Amen. That's two. And that, that's my point. There's only two. Amen. Only and, and, yeah, that's you, my point. There's they only are two. literally you, proving his point. A non binary uh, non binary zebra. You'll never see a, a two spirit horse. Amen. You'll never see a frog that thinks he's a, a monkey. This is a this is a this is dysphoria. The medical community calls this gender dysphoria. Dysphoria um, call, uh, is drawn from from a word of dysfunction. So that means this it's a it's a it's a it's it's your brain is not functioning correctly, and and this is why you're thinking these things. My my main question I actually came here for: Are you here like if? It were up to you, but you have shut this con convention down entirely. No. No? No. Why is that? Because, because you have a right. Freedom. You, you have, have right. the freedom to do whatever you want to do. I have the freedom to do whatever I do. Right. The moment exactly. you can't do it, the moment you can't, you don't have freedom. I'm sorry, no, complain you. The moment you don't have freedom to be who you are and do what you want to do is the moment I don't have freedom to preach the gospel. Right. So exactly. 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 That was a good one. That was a good one. I enjoyed that one myself because uh, they were actually a causal uh, crowd and they did not. Uh, attack him in any way. Like I said uh, in the middle of the video, that there are some that, uh, and, and of course, I, of course, I'm going to post some of, some of these videos that where he is absolutely attacked, physically attacked. Um, as far as people trying to, people stealing his microphones, people uh, turning down his PA system, people getting in his face, or people trying to use their their uh, cell phones to to um, uh, to drown him out, and as he's trying to preach the gospel, but uh, that was a that was a pretty good one. And they they actually they actually using logic proved his point that there are only two genders. God bless y'all. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed that one. And until next time, YouTube. Peace out.